Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to look what is wildcards in Java generics and how we can make use of it. So first let's talk about what is generics. Uh, so those things already we have seen in the couple of video tutorial. Now uh, generics basically allow you to uh, define basically uh, uh, interface method classes or when you create some kind of collection and at this time you can specify uh, a type I mean what kind of data is hold by your collection right and uh, you define a method class and interfaces which will basically which can work on the different uh, kind of data type right and that's the generics right and that's provides you a compile time safety itself right that's all about the generics. Now, what is wildcards in Java? And that is basically related to generics only. Uh, question mark is wild basically wildcard is nothing but a question mark. So a question mark is known as a wildcard in generic programming language. It represents an unknown type. The wildcard can be used in a variety of situations such as type of parameter, uh, field or local variable. Sometimes you can also uh, use as a return type or as well, method return type as well. Unlike arrays, different instantiations of generic type are not compatible with each other, not even explicitly. This in, in, incompatibility may be softened by the wildcard if question mark is used as an actual type parameter. Right? So, Types uh, now we'll talk about the how many types of wildcards are there. So to understand how many types of wildcards is there, I have created a project, and you can see there are three classes I have created. So first type of wildcard is called unbounded wildcard, and here you can see uh, sorry upper bounded wild uh, wildcard. So here you can see I have created upper bounded wildcard. So we'll try to understand what is upper bounded wildcard now second type of wildcard is called lower bounded wildcard right so, and finally we'll talk about the unbounded wildcard so let's start with the upper bounded wildcard what is this so you can see this program on in my eclipse uh, when we talk about the upper bounded wildcard uh, these wildcards can be used when you want to relax the restrictions on the variable for example, say if you want to write a method that works on the list of integer, list of double, list of number, then you can do this using the upper bounded wildcard. To declare an upper bounded wildcard, uh, you can use wildcard character question mark followed by the extends keyword followed by the upper bound. And here you can see. I have defined a method with upper bound bounded wildcard. I have declared a list. Here I am saying question mark extends number, name of variable is list. So we can invoke this method by passing list of number, list of integer, list of double. Means here, of course, you can pass the list of number. And apart from that, you can make a list of subclass of this class. So as we know that in Java, like double, long, right? This class is basically extends number class. So you can invoke this method by calling a list of number or list of subclass of this number. And that's the uh, basically called upper bounded. So upper bounded means this is the upper bound. You cannot go beyond of that, right? If you talk about the inheritance hierarchy, you cannot, you, you can send, you can invoke this method by sending the list of number or list of subclass of number, right? And uh, uh, that's what we are doing over here, right? Here you can see in this example what we have done. In this example, uh, we have a list, int list and uh, we have a double list, right? Uh, even you can invoke this method by passing a list of number as well. I hope so. Uh, uh, here, so here in this example, uh, int list and uh, double list are objects of list, right? Here int list is a collection of integer and uh, 
double list is a collection of double both of them are being passed to a method a method sum which has the wild card that extends number right this means that this list being passed can be of any field or subclass of that field right here integer and double are subclasses of class number right now if I run this program then this will run successfully there is no compilation error and you can run it successfully sorry guys yeah so guys one thing you will have to keep in mind uh, uh, here I have taken an example of existing class in within the JDK but this concept is applies for the custom data type as well right if you create some kind of like person employee HR class right and HR and person HR and employee extends person then this concept is applies for the custom class as well in that case so this is all about the upper bounded wildcard in generics now second example will take a lower bounded wildcard it is expressed using the wildcard character question mark followed by super keyword followed by uh, its lower bound so here you can see uh, example uh, here I have created a method and saying question mark super integer means you can invoke this class by passing list of integer or list of super class of integer right so here you can, of course you can invoke this method by passing a list of integer as well as list of numbers number as well because number is a super class here you can see int list which contains list of integer so we can easily we can call this method so there is no compilation error so in case of generics if you have some problem compatibility issue then you'll get the error at compile time itself rather getting the error at runtime that's the beauty of generics now again i have created a, a list of numbers right and here you can see easily I can invoke print method without any compilation error. So here arguments can be integer or super class of integer which is a number. The method print will only take integer or its super class object. However, if we pass list of type like uh, double or long then we will get compilation error. It is because only the integer field or its super class can be passed double or long is not the super class of integer right and that's what we will get the compilation error uh, use extend wildcard when you want to get values out of the uh, inheritance structure and super wildcard when you put values in the inheritance structure don't use wildcard when you get and put values in a structure or inheritance structure uh, one thing you will have to note you can specify an upper bound for a wildcard or you can specify a lower bound but you cannot specify both so that's all about again uh, here i have taken example of uh, classes which exist in the jdk itself but this concept applies for the custom class as well right now if i run this application then uh, i should be able to print the uh, list of list of values so both list is getting printed on the console right and that's what that's the job of uh, your uh, print method right but in real scenario you can have uh, some complex business logic right now last but not the least we'll talk about the unbounded wildcard and that's the third type of wildcard in, in in the world of generics right now this wildcard type is specified using the wildcard character question mark for example uh, the list uh, if you, you can see here list here I haven't specify any super or uh, extends keyword directly I have specify a question mark right so this is this this is called a list of unknown type right uh, these are useful in the following cases right when writing a method which can be employed using the functionality provided in the object class so here if you do not put anything that means by default object is there that means any kind of list of a list of a list of object you can pass it over here right when the code is using methods in generic class that don't depend on the 
uh, type parameter, right? So here uh, you can invoke this method by passing list of any kind of object, right? So that's the that's the unbounded wildcard. There is no boundation on this, right? So here I'm I'm calling this method by passing a, a list of integer, then list of double. You can pass list of employee, list of any classes object, right? And this will uh, print the list successfully. And basically, just you are going to invoke this method without any compilation problem, right? So that's that is the unbounded wildcard. I hope you guys learn uh, what is wildcard in uh, generic generic programming language like Java. And uh, there are three types of uh, uh, wildcards. So first we had seen uh, upper bounded wildcard, and there we have seen how we can define uh, upper bounded wildcard when we define any method, right? So that uses basically extends keyword. Then we have seen a uh, lower bounded wildcard that uses basically super keyword. And finally, we have seen uh, unbounded wildcard that uses only question mark, right? So that's all uh, we wanted to learn in this video tutorial, guys. I hope you understood uh, about the wildcards in generics. And uh, that's all I have in this video. Uh, if you would like to download this code from the uh, GitHub, then GitHub location I will specify in the video description. If you have any doubt or any query then please do post below to the video and if you really like this video then please hit on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel guys big thank you for watching this video and see you next video tutorial